What's up, bro? Hey, what's going on, AMS? What's up, bro? All right, so I'm 22 right now. Mm -hmm. I've come to the point where I'm just trying to like build a financial foundation. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to build a skill so that I don't have to worry about going from paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not completely passionate about the shit though. So how would you go about continuing to build a skill over like six months to a year without burning out? Because I can go ahead and put 10 hours a day into the shit, but mm -hmm. two, three weeks, I'm not going to do it anymore. So how would you go about putting enough time into it and, you know, without burning out? Uh, what you doing, brother? What, so what? Front end web development. So basically. Oh, web development. Be... So you don't got a passion for it. Yeah. All right. So now. I mean, I feel like once I get good enough. Mm hmm go ahead go ahead go ahead brother no nah, I, I said once i feel like i feel like once i get good enough mm -hmm. you know obviously i'm going to be able to enjoy it more but right now it's kind of the early stages so i'm still you know learning the basics and trying to put everything together type shit so what i would do if that's you is i'm trying to figure out how can i make that something that i like to do in that same film for you know so what do you like to do that you can incorporate with that? You, you you following me? So let's just say I was a web developer, right? Yeah. I would be trying to figure out how to make fitness programs or dating programs or something, something of uh, a uh, basketball program, something that I love to do. I would want to incorporate it in there. So what are you passionate about? I would try to incorporate it in that. Okay, that makes sense. So, like in other words, if say say you don't like cardio, right? Say you say you say you don't like cardio, but maybe you like shooting basketball, right? Or maybe you like playing flag football, or maybe yeah. you like uh whatever, right? I want to make the cardio fun. So you don't like cardio on a treadmill running like a hamster, but maybe you don't mind uh playing basketball running up and down the basketball court to get your cardio. So I just made it fun for you. And so that's the same thing I want to do with this is I want to figure out whatever you love to do. I want to figure out how can I incorporate that in there? So whatever you got a passion for, okay. I want to see if there's any kind of way that I can incorporate that in there. So what that do you, if, if it's one thing on this earth that you could do for free, what would that be? Uh, I like making beats. Bingo. You like making beats. I know you can sit down and think of some type of way. You're talking about musical beats, right? Yeah, music production. Oh, man. So let me ask you this. Is there any kind of way you can create a program that teach people how to make beats or something like that? Like, like some kind of program that teach people how to make music or something like that? Yeah, I was I was thinking about uh like making a beat store, like mm -hmm. making a beat store from scratch where people can go online, they can buy my beats from the mm -hmm. store and you know everything's automated. But like mm -hmm. I said, it's like I'm in the beginning stages, so I have to get to that point. Okay. So I don't I won't have a problem building that shit and mm -hmm. yeah, I wouldn't have a problem building those things and doing all that once mm -hmm. I know how to, but it's it's getting there that's kind of you know the tedious. The tedious part. So you just gotta put the work in. So you kinda yeah. like you kinda like me when I first was starting youtube and first starting the gym where you just gotta you gotta just picture yourself where you want to be brother two years from now and i remember when i was starting three okay. years three years ago when i first started this i put myself being in the position that i am now and that's what you got to do so what you're trying to do is what i want you to do now is you got to put this ground in this initial ground in to where eventually you don't have to so in, in investments, brother, you got two ways you can invest. You can invest your time and you can invest your money, right? But both of them create passive income. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is primarily investing your time, yeah. right? Sort of like me when I was writing my mm -hmm. books, right? But you got to understand that the time that you're putting in and investing now, it's going to be making you money five or 10 years from now. So you got to look at it like that, like the work that I'm putting in, this is all I was thinking about. I was thinking about that. You know what I said? You know, I was writing these, writing the books and I'm saying to myself, I had no life and I was saying to myself, but it's going to come a time where I'm going to be making money off those books while I'm sleeping. 
I, I thought of this. I, I, I pictured it all out. And that's where you got to be at now that once I get this programming down, I'm going to be able to make my money passively and I'm not going to have to put this hard work in no more. I don't got to I don't got to grind like I did three years ago. All right. When I first joined the gym, yeah. I, was, I lived in the gym, but I, I had no intentions on doing that forever. I had the full intentions of I'm going to come in here, do what I got to do, build my clientele base. Then I can kick back. So you got to keep that in mind that all yeah. this sacrifice is for me to get to a point to where I don't have to work like that no more. And it's, I'm okay. telling you, brother, yeah, that makes sense. I'm telling you, brother, it's so much better on this side when you can work when you want to, uh, you know, do what you want to. I could have did this live stream or I could have not have done this live stream. It was totally up to me. Right. I work on my own time. I live. If I don't yeah. want to put a video for three months, I don't got to put a video for three months. If I want to go and shoot squirrels, I can do that. That's what I if I want to just. But I put the work in to put myself in that position to do that. So you yeah, just that's, gotta, that's the point I'm trying to get to because it's like, oh, it's a grind. I'm not going to I ain't going to tell you it's no easy. I wish I could tell you some easy way. It's no, it's a grind. And you feel like every day you feel like, man, you know, damn. But you just got to keep you just got to dig deep. Now, one thing I will say, and this is what I've been mm-hmm. recommending to guys is you shouldn't be doing this seven days a week. You should be giving yourself like I, I used to tell guys to go seven days a week and then I stop it stopped it because it's it guys guys will suffer burnout what i would do if i was you is i would take at least sunday off completely and go out and have fun okay. that's what i would do i wouldn't I, I used to tell guys to do seven days a week i no longer tell guys to do that no more because of burnout so at the, at the very least i'm gonna take sunday off and yeah. that's your day to go out kick and relax and what i seen what ends up happening is when you get back to working you actually grind harder yeah, yeah, for sure. Because it kind of recharges your batteries. Mm-hmm. I had one more question too. Go ahead, bro. Um, um, I'm somebody that have like a decent amount of hobbies that can, you know, potentially generate passive income. Mm-hmm. How would you go about, you know, kind of splitting your time up into putting enough time into those hobbies to where you're not just doing one thing completely, or you just like you get what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. So like, I'm somebody that, um, like I said, I like making beats. I like uh, I resell sneakers and mm-hmm. all of those things could potentially make me money, but I don't do it for the money. I do it because I like doing those things. How would you go about, you know, kind of balancing your time mm-hmm. and to become adequate enough to, you know? So what you got to do is you got to set your schedule. So what's your what's your work schedule right now? I Seven. work from five to ten. 5 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Nah, uh, you mean like in terms of corporate work? Yeah, just work in general. Yeah, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. All right, and and what you do the rest of the what's the other what you spend the rest of the time doing? Uh, I do the course that I'm working on, the web development course. I go to the gym. Uh, I got some free time. I'll make some beats. When mm-hmm. sneakers come out, I'll you know set my software up to get the sneakers. So mm-hmm. it really, it kind of depends. It doesn't really depend on the day. Mm-hmm. I have things that I do every day, like go to the gym. Mm-hmm. Uh, I work on the course, but it's like that in between time that I really don't know where to put my time into. You know. Okay, so it, it's just gonna boil down to priorities. And this gonna be, and, and only you can make this decision. I can't make it, but it's really gonna be how much. And how important it is that you must do your hobbies and how important it is. Only you can make this. I can't make this. This is going to be something that you got to decide on because this is just priorities. Like it's like if I got a hundred dollars and I got a light bill to pay and I got a water bill to pay, I had to sit and think to myself, well, which one I want the most, right? If I got to pay one, which one I want. So this is oh, yeah. the situation with you. You got to put the priority. It's, it's up to you. Uh, how important it is for you to in, get at least, you know, sometime with your hobby every day, right? How important I can't make that decision. You have to make that decision, and how much it important it is for you to change your living situation as towards your purpose. When it was me, I put my hobby on a complete back burner because I was totally ready to change my life situation. When I went to the gym, I damn a hobby. I I literally lived in there because I was ready to change my living mm-hmm. situation. 
So that's if you somebody who say, man, well, my living situation don't bother me that bad, you know, like I want to change it, but it's not that bad. Then that's going to be up to you. That's that's not going to be something I can say. That's going to be how bad you want it. Maybe you say, well, my my AMS, I'm I'm yeah. cool. My, you know, I, I can take a little longer, but that's something you got to decide. With me, I was like, I'm I'm ready to change this shit. So I yeah. I, I had I mean, no. I'm at that point too. Hmm? Say what, brother? I'm at that point too. It's not like you know, I live at home with my mother, so it's mm -hmm. not like you know I'm on my own right now. It's mm -hmm. not too bad, but I'd rather not be here. You know. Right. Just as a man, you want you want shit for yourself, you know. Right. Well, I'm putting I'm putting I'm putting everything to the side to get get this done and get the hell out of there. If the, if you feel that way about it, I know how it is living with your mama. I know how that is. All those hints mm -hmm. and stuff, you know, I, I get that completely. So if it's me, yeah. I'm, put, I'm I'm putting everything on the back burner and I'm finna do everything I can to get that situation and get up out of there. All right. All right, bro. Yeah, I appreciate your help, man. I've been watching no you for problem, a while. Bro. Appreciate everything you do. Appreciate it, man. All right.